Welcome to this guitar lesson on how to play uh, Crosses by Jose Gonzalez uh, in standard tuning. It's gonna sound pretty much the same as the original that has a different tuning. Um, and this is the first time I'm making one of these lessons, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully with uh, Jerry Garcia on my, on my side it'll work out, so Let's get right into it. So um, you'll start with your middle finger on the 7th fret of the E string and your ring finger on the 7th fret of the G string. And my approach to learning this song would be to get comfortable with the finger picking before you even start to learn the different parts. So um, what I would do is add like each layer of the finger picking like step by step. So uh, Start with your uh, middle finger and your ring finger on the G string and the D string and just play like this slowly. And then add the index finger on the D string like this. Then the thumb. You can start by adding the first thumb stroke. Then you can add the second thumb stroke. Once you're comfortable with that, you can try to speed up to the original speed, so... So that's the, the finger-picking pattern that's used for most of the song. So um, yeah, the first part of the song is uh, yeah you're gonna start in this position and then move your index finger to the fifth fret of the E string and your ring finger to the sixth fret of the G string and then the index finger on the third fret of the G or the uh, uh, E string and then uh, your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string. And if we apply the the finger picking that we talked about, um, we can do it slowly first. It sounds like this. And now you're gonna add your pinky to the seventh fret of the B string like this and I'll play, play that again and then you play that whole part again with uh, like a delayed bass so uh, it sounds like this you play this you'll just play it like this again so now what we have is thing you'll notice that Jose Gonzalez does um, sometimes is that he'll add more like thumb strokes so 
in the original speed it might sound like exaggerated a little bit but um, he does that a lot and um, I wouldn't focus on that now I was I would start by learning like the basic song um, and then you can add these sorts of details but yeah now we've basically covered the first part of the song um, the second part of the song is going to sound a little bit different than the original because of the standard tuning uh, but it's this part have the the G instead of the F sharp um, that's what's different but you can still keep the open G in there um, it doesn't sound bad it just sounds a little different uh, so if I play it slowly it sounds like this it's all open strings or sorry yeah it's open strings and then second fret on the E string and then in the original version um, Jose Gonzalez does like a pull off um, sounds something like that but um, with the standard tuning that's not gonna work because you have the E instead of the, the D uh, so I would just skip that and play and you play that whole part again um, and after the second time you play this part we have the uh, the third part um, which is this finger on the seventh fret of the G string and your ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string and I'll play it slowly and then uh, middle finger on the seventh fret of the D which might sound a little weird uh, or it might feel a little weird to put your middle finger like that but uh, it's the uh, easiest way I think so yeah to the ninth fret and then ninth fret on the A string Last time you go back to the ninth fret on the D string, so it's like this. song and I'm not gonna play it in its entirety I think it's easier if you just um, listen to the song and figure out for yourself how many times to play each part um, but yeah that's uh, that's basically it um, uh, yeah thank you for watching let me know if you want more of, of these kinds of videos um, and yeah thank you for watching <laughs>